Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So now that I have the water line repaired, the uh, water dispenser worked for uh, that day and then overnight it froze again. Like it's been for a couple of years now. So now I'm going to uh, fix that. Did not know that there uh, is a repair kit there's a heating element that you can install around this nozzle here that is where the water just uh, feeds out through the behind the door here on this freezer section and it, it freezes so they have come up with a, a solution is a little heating element that you press it's got some foil uh, double-sided sticky tape that the heating element presses around that tube area and splices into existing uh, power connections to, on the cables that feed this front panel. So I don't think they had that when I first inquired about this problem uh, years ago. So this front panel here just snaps off and like everything else on this, all the other plastic, uh, be very careful because I did break off like three tabs on this. They just broke off but that's the only way you take it off is very carefully try to uh, snap this back off. It has these tabs with these little hooks on them that uh, snap in. You can see on the side there. They snap into those slots that are on the door. So I broke off a couple of those. I might buy another one of those uh, trim basils. They go for about 20 bucks or $18, I think. Um, well, anyways, so now I have to take this off, and underneath there are a couple of holes underneath the panel here that you need something sharp. I have these small screwdriver, you know, sort of like, a, you know, they used to call these like watchmaker tools or something like that. Uh, let me show you. So underneath here, you have to insert if you have a skewer or if you don't have you know if you have a little screwdriver like this you have to press in here and press these tabs in to take off this front cover so you can sort of feel it when it pops out and there's a third one there it goes. So then that comes off. So here's the front panel. And you splice into a red and a black wire. So this is the repair kit. And these connectors here go over the wire. And then when you close them, they bite into the cable and connect the two cables together. This, this piece here so this piece here, when it gets compressed, goes through the opening. So this, this, this side here is open so you can just put an existing cable or wire through there and then the other cable from this fits into here and when this closes and bites into it it connects the two side-by-side -side wires together so an easy way to splice in but you can see here they put some foil backing and then this is a little piece of wire with a bend in it and uh, might be resistors in there or something. Looks like they have some resistive, some resistors in here with heat shrink over them to limit the current. And then this little loop here will heat up. And evidently that's enough to keep that nozzle warm enough so it doesn't freeze. So that needs to be installed. It does come with instructions. There's the part number.
dispenser water tube heater kit. So there's the two wires that you need to splice into. Uh, evidently a red and white wire and a black and white wire. Pin two and pin six and splice one inch away from the harness when it comes out the door. And that's how it's installed. But you also want to remove this panel here. It's recommended to put some silicon caulking around the uh, water tube that comes out through the freezer door. I've also seen videos where there's some um, foil with like insulated foil backing that you can install a sheet of it on the inside of the panel opposite this water dispenser here on the inside of the freezer. I guess that cuts down just enough maybe on the cold air on the door to also prevent freezing. So this comes off. Let's see how that feeds through there. Well, this is still connected by wires too. I'm just letting it hang. There's the, the light fixture for the dispenser and there's the contact there, the on and off switch for the water dispenser activates the water, Activ activates the on and off valve in the back when you close those contacts. So you can see accumulation of dirt. So right here, I don't know, there really doesn't look like there's much of an opening. This is the door, a uh, little rubber door that should be secure. But uh, that would also let some cold air down onto this tube here if it doesn't close, close sufficiently. So it could be even just a matter of cleaning any grime that doesn't allow this rubber to seat properly, allowing some air to slowly leak. So that, that could help too, I'm going to clean that. So I'm cleaning all around this door. Still pliable, flexible. And cleaning all these nooks and crannies here. So they recommend putting some silicon around that nozzle. I just have a little here. It's regular silicon in a large tube, but that should be good enough. Clean that up with the paper towel as soon as I press that in with my finger. So the next thing is to take the backing off of this foil and press it into that 
shape there that recess so let me do that so you peel off this backing and that gets pressed into that slot all right that foil is just not staying in place so I'm going to mix up some two-part epoxy here after smearing that silicone in there and cleaning it off as best I can the adhesive that they have on the backing of that foil is just not sticking it's not doing anything so I'm mixing up this epoxy and I'm going to tack it in place the most important part is tacking the two wires those are the heaviest with the strain once those are tacked in place on the left that should secure or help keep that foil in place just the weight of the wires pulls that foil right off. You see, it's, it's just, just not staying. Put this back in place. Why would I think that the people who designed the crappy refrigerator would design a competent fix for the problem for their poor design. Does not stay. This stuff here is already getting tacky, so maybe I will use this. So I take one of the connectors, put the red wire in one side, like so. Actually, let's see, maybe like that. And it doesn't matter any one of these white wires. See how this might be maybe this way so the connector is facing the wire and then this goes in here and it doesn't come out the other end so you seat that wire in you can see it through the little window there you see it in there it bottoms out and then you have the red wire on the other side I have a pair of pliers slide it up about an inch away and then you're going to close this so that's going to bite into those wires joining them together 
and then snap this so those two wires should be connected now looks like it find out soon enough that's secure and now the other side I use the black and white which is number six which is this one right here make sure because there is a black one and over here they get sort of jumbled oh, that piece of tape came off so that's a good thing so again, let's see, I want this facing the wire, so that one in, and then feed the white one in there till it bottoms out, and crimp this metal down onto those two. it snaps you can almost see the teeth right there bit into that wire so now you can clip these two pieces together So that's that. So that heating element, double check, make sure that's secure. That's six, the black and white wire. And number two on the harness is the red. And on the panel itself, actually says number two is power and six is heater one two three four five six here so now you can plug this back onto the circuit board all snaps in At this point, I can plug the refrigerator back in. I don't know if this is gets warm enough to touch. You can feel it. That two-part epoxy is cured. Keeping the foil in place, securing the wires. I want to make sure these wires go to the left so they don't obstruct this door from closing the chute let me feel here if it's noticeable to touch I don't really know if I'm sensing anything there I'm sure they just need it to just a little bit of uh, a little warm should be adequate I guess they figured out doesn't need much to unblock this tube from freezing. So you have a constant defroster on essentially for this tube. Since I have it apart, what I'm going to do, I think I do feel that's kind of warm. But since I have it open, I'm going to hit it with the hair dryer. get this working and then see if that heater is going to keep it from freezing up. So let me just go ahead and reassemble this. Got to plug this back in.
and figure out how this goes back together. So now I just need to get these wires out of the way. There's enough room. Oh, I see how this goes now. So it fits in the slot there. There's plenty of room for the wires and then that just snaps back in. Make sure there's enough room. It's back on. Okay. I wonder if it can dispense water. Oh, ice is on. Water. No water. I have to hit it with the hair dryer again, I guess. Well, the hair dryer didn't even work, so I, I have this piece of flexible but rigid wire. I think people also use the um, weed whacker line. And I put this in here. I think people also will heat this end of the wire up. Feed it into the tubing and I started to get some water dripping so I'm thinking I unclogged it. Let's see. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. I don't know how long that's going to last. We'll see if this freezes up again. I can always just keep this piece of wire on the tray, I guess. Tell company to use that wire if they want to have some water. So I'll get back to you. I'll take a look at this tomorrow and see if it freezes up overnight now that I have the heater in there. Hi everyone. So it's been sitting overnight. It's been longer than 12 hours. It's the moment of truth. Let's see what's going on here. Hey, look at that. It works. I was skeptical because I had to use a wire to unclog it and even hit it with a hairdryer. So for some reason that uh, blockage was difficult. And then once that was clear, the heating element seems to be just enough, enough warmth to keep that from freezing from here on in. Okay, so that's the uh, installation of the heating element to prevent the water dispenser from freezing on this side-by-side -side, uh, GE refrigerator, 13-year-old refrigerator. Um, and I guess that's about it for this project. I have a functioning refrigerator, although this is starting to irk me a little bit. This this switch here is not too sensitive. You really have to push in on this uh, lever to get to finally dispense the water. But yeah, I'll let that go. So if you found this video interesting, uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and or comment. Again, a bunch of projects. 
for this GE side-by-side -side refrigerator. They don't make them like they used to. So this was all initiated by the uh, major repair, but the major repair ended up being um, the least expensive and uh, the least amount of work. And that was the control panel, but from there it just mushroomed into the water line uh, becoming brittle because of the exposure to the heat. Continual ex exposure f uh, from the heat from the motor and the compressor uh, on the outside and then uh, became brittle. Um, 2020, 2020 uh, hindsight is 2020, is that how it goes? I uh, get that extra loop in the back there for uh, that you can access to use uh, to pull to the back. You don't have to go buy some extra tubing. Uh, you know, if you take a couple of loops out of that, it's not going to uh, really deteriorate the uh, cooling, initial uh, pre-chilled water that comes out of, of the dispenser. Uh, you can buy some tubing if you want. Uh, and that's it. And then from there, you know, I've had this heating element uh, project on my mind once I found out about it. But Initially, when I called up, uh, they did not volunteer, at least at that time, that there was such a thing. And YouTube, I don't even know, when, when did YouTube start? You know, a lot of this information and uh, Googling um, wasn't uh, that well-known back then, or even if there was all that information, uh, hadn't accumulated yet on the Internet. So, install that heating element, and that's it. I'm satisfied. So I hope this helps uh, anyone else out there with these multiple issues with the uh, GE side-by-side -side refrigerator. Uh, these are projects, if, uh, if I can do it, you can do it type of thing. Thanks for watching.